Hello, this is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. You are welcome to the Treasured Transformation Seed Podcast with Coach DTO. Yeah, we have detoxified, decluttered, and deleted to create space for our expectations. And now is the time to start building. The Bible says in Isaiah 54, uh, Isaiah 54, is enlarge the place of your tents and let the curtains of your habitations be stretched out. Spare not, lengthen your cords and strengthen your sticks, for you will spread abroad to the right hand and to the left, and your offspring will possess the nations and make the desolate cities to be inhabited. So I'll be talking about enlargement, you know, make room. So that means you are increasing your capacity. What is capacity? Actually, for the next one week or so, we'll be talking about capacity. But what is capacity? Capacity is the ability to receive or contain. It is a measure of ability, a measure of performance. It is a reflection of your innate growth, development, or accomplishment. It can also be described as resourcefulness, dexterity, aptitude, and skillfulness. So when we're talking about expanding, what does it mean to expand your capacity? You know, it means taking it beyond the normal ability to receive or do Enlarge the place of your tent and let the curtains of your habitations be stretched out. It means taking things, your business, your ministry, taking it beyond the normal ability to receive or do, to make greater in number, size, strength, or quality, to enhance your God given gift or ability to become greater in what you have whatever it is you have been called to do you know the grace to perform better in a given task that is above and beyond with the highest intensification magnification and sharpening It is having the ability to deal with wide range of issues and experiences beyond your own daily experiences. In other words, be a well-rounded person. You know, King Solomon was an example of a well-rounded person. You can read about him in 1 Kings chapter 4, verse 29 to 34. He was an horticulturist, he was a botanist, he was a poet, a marine engineer, he was a biologist, a creative artist, dramatic artist. He later became a life coach. (laughs) Remember, he was preaching to people after learning from his own failings. He said, vanity upon vanity, I've learned vanity. So he became a teacher, he became a preacher, he became a counselor. He was now counseling people. You should be ready to operate beyond your comfort zone. Think of the kind of people you will encounter. You don't want to be inferior. You don't want to be shallow. So you want to know more. You want to learn more. You want to, beyond my experience, um, I don't, okay, let me not jump ahead of time because we'll get there. So what do you have to increase or why do you have to increase your capacity? The Bible says we can do all things to Christ, you know. So you can do all things. You have just not tried it out. You have just not tried it out. Why do you have to increase your capacity? Like we said, capacity is ability to contain, to receive. So to prevent and eliminate wastage. Many of us are just wasting away, practicing religion and not affecting anyone. But so, let me see if I can do um, something. How can you increase your capacity? 
Let me see if I can do that. The problem to increase our capacity is not from God. It is what we are not available. The oil is not deficient, but the vessels are not available. If you look at 2 Kings in chapter 4, 2 Kings in chapter 4 in verse 7, the oil stopped when the container finished. The oil stopped. So how can I increase my capacity? How can you increase your capacity? Number one, faithfulness in little things. The Bible says we should not despise the days of small beginnings. Am I faithful in my business? Am I faithful in what God has given unto me? Am I faithful in what I have right now? Faithfulness in little things. Honesty in little things. Honesty. Diligence in little things. Am I diligent in what I have right now or what I'm, what, where I'm serving right now, what I'm doing right now? Am I diligent? Many of us, we cry, Lord, increase my business. But am I diligent in what I have right now? Do you have the desire to grow from small things? Or you just, you want to, you are limited when your God and my God is not limited. So do you have that desire are you, 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 another thing is determination to increase from little things. You have the desire, you have the determination. Remember our friend Elisha, Elisha had that determination. He had the desire for uh, a double portion of an anointing. He went ahead from, for it. Even when the boss was saying, go back, go back, go back, go back, you know, go back first time, go back second time, go back that the guy was adamant. Another thing is attitude of excellence. Those are the ways, you know, um, Tomorrow, we talk about ways to increase the capacity and then acquiring the capacity. So, we want to go by the instruction of God. I will stop here today. It says, enlarge the place of your tent and let the curtains of your habitations be stretched out. Spare not, lengthen your cups and strengthen your sticks. For you will spread abroad to the right and to the left. And your offspring will possess the nations and make the desolate cities to be inhabited. Father, we thank you, Lord, for you have given us the grace to expand, Lord. You have given us the mandate to expand in business, in ministry, in families, in different areas of life. Father, we commit ourselves into your hand as we go today. That, Lord, that grace, Lord, what we need to do, that you enable us to do in the name of Jesus. The faithfulness in little things, honesty, diligence, desire, determination, and the spirit of excellence we cultivate in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. So don't forget tomorrow, we talk about ways to increase your capacity. Amen. Um, don't forget to subscribe, share the podcast. You can just do one click at dto20.com. Then you have the Twitter there. You have the YouTube. You have the Facebook. Amen. Also, don't forget the books that we've been recommending. A Flame Reigniting the Passion and Pursuit of Purpose. A 40-Day Devotional. Then number two, Fast Track Your Fresh Start with Prayer. A 21-Day Prayer Journey. They are all on Amazon, but you can also get them from the website dto20.com. And God will surely bless you. Don't forget, subscribe and share the podcast. Amen. Shalom.